Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. And if I can do a quick commercial, if you'd like to help support the channel, please check out the Amazon links in the video description. If you use the link to go to Amazon and you purchase something, even though it's not the item at the end of my link, I'll get some affiliate marketing credit, and that means I get a few pennies, and I like to get pennies. Nickels and dimes and quarters are better, but... So if you're so inclined and you're an Amazon cho a shopper, I hope you'll give that some consideration next time you go to Amazon, and it'll cost you nothing. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm here with my AM5 and my Celestron Edge HD8. And so this is the start of a series of tests that I'm going to do to see if I can use the AM5 with my Celestron Edge HD8. Now, ZWO says the payload capacity of the AM5 is 28 pounds. Right now, as I'm configured with the image train on the Celestron, I'm at 21.5. But when I put my um, Eagle 5S on, which will ride up here, I'm waiting for the clamp. Um, that's going to add another 2.75 pounds and so maybe um, you know a little bit more weight for some of the power cables coming off the back so I think I'll be well within the 28 pound payload capacity um, I think you can see in the video that I'm being super cautious here I have some of my uh, sandbags that I use to uh, sandbag my light stands in my uh, photography studio. So I'm putting them to good use here. And then I also have an eight pound counterweight in the uh, basket of the tripod, again, to try and give it a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna put my eagle down over here. And um, so today, I just wanna take this for a spin and then uh, see what happens, see if it falls over. Uh, as it stands right here, right now, I can push it and, you know, I, I, I don't see, oh, maybe a little bit that way, um, but it feels pretty stable. Okay, so uh, here we go. Now, I thought about putting a bunch of pillows on the ground just in case it falls over, but I'm going to trust ZWO here. I find it's a lot easier to trust, so that's generally my default mode. I also know that Patrick Kerrigan has an AM5, and he's running about 25 pounds on it, and he's done several nights of imaging without any issues. He doesn't use sandbags, um, so uh, we're good. But just in case, I do have the... Um, Counterweight bar, I purchased one, and I do have another uh, weight from my HEQ5 mount that I could use on it as well. So, okay, so let's give this thing a, a whirl. Okay. Okay, it's not falling over yet. So far, so good. It doesn't seem to be stuttering. I don't see, you know, best I can tell, I don't see the mount moving. Everything's moving free, Lee.
Okay, so uh, this is encouraging. Okay, um, test number one is complete. From what I can tell, uh, there was no instability in the mount. All the movement of the AM5 strain wave uh, mount was smooth, uh, no binding. I didn't hear any weird noises or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna call test number one good. And then my next test is when uh, Monday I should get my clamp from uh, a Gina Astro that's going to allow me to mount my Prima Luce Lab Eagle 5S on here. And then once I have that mounted, I will go ahead and if there's a clear night between now and uh, November 8th when I head down towards Borrego Springs for nightfall 2000. Uh, 23, uh, then I'll see if I can't catch a target in my limited field of view here in my backyard and um, guide on it for a bit to see what kind of metrics I'm getting with this, uh, with this weight on here. Uh, again, I purchased the AM5 because I, um, my HQ5 mount fell over with my Red Cat 51 on it. Fortunately, the Red Cat survived without any um, damage. But uh, the center post on the HQ5 mount uh, broke, so I decided to get an AM5. In the back of my mind, I was hoping, uh, you know, I was certain that the AM5 would handle my Red Cat 51 no problem, but I was hoping that maybe I could uh, manage my Celestron uh, Edge HD8. Uh, with the AM5 as well, and that way I can eliminate the weight of my EQ6R Pro uh, mount. It takes up a lot more space in my van than the AM5, so there's a couple of different things I'm trying to accomplish here, but um, for now, test number one is good. So if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and wherever you may be in the world, I uh, hope you're looking towards some good weather. See you next time.